most tragical thing that has ever happened to me. Crowds are making their way in behind us to the Elgin Theater. Why? Well, Anne of Green Gables, the musical, is on stage. You'll meet very interesting people when you come in here. And Kate McDonald Butler, what a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you. Lucy thank Maud you. Montgomery, your grandmother. My grandmother, that's right. So yeah. this show on stage today represents uh, more than just a great night out at the theater for you. It, it is indeed. I mean, it's just so fantastic to be in my hometown and being able to come to this. I've, I've, um, I think I've seen over 30 productions in my life. Really? And, um, the first time I saw Anna Green Gables, I was eight years old, and it was here in Toronto at the O'Keefe Centre. Oh, my. And my mother took me, who's here tonight as well, and she's yes. 94. <sighs> and But my dad couldn't come, and he tucked a note in my pocket, and he said, now, when, in intermission, give this note to the usher. And so I did, and I wasn't really what, sure what it said. Mm -hmm. And anyway, I handed it to the usher, and it probably said something like, hi, I'm L. M. Montgomery's granddaughter. Right. And I was invited backstage after the show, and I met all the cast, and it was just a wonderful experience for me at eight years of age. That's but then I came running out. My mom stayed and waited for me in the lobby, and when I came running out from after the, the backstage party, I was teary and crying Aww. because of because I was so moved, and it was so wonderful to be there. Now, to be going to that performance at that age and having the family uh, heritage of the yes. Um, what, did that, what did that mean well, to that's, you? I think that's the moving part. And I yeah. can't sit through this production without shedding a tear. I can't not get through it. You think after 30 times I might know what was going to happen, right. but every time Matthew dies, oh, huh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm brought to tears yet again. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, uh, we were talking earlier that Glenda, who's in the production, has been part of this for, for 38 years. Yeah, and I remember Glenda when she was Diana. So and was a, yes, and that's where she started as Diana. So, so it was, yeah, it was wonder. It is wonderful that she's still there, and I think she's the only member from PEI in the cast. Yes, we, yes. there's another um, Down East person, newer, but, oh, okay. uh, but not from PEI. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. So this has got to be. It seems to me that once you become a part of this production, well, I think once you see it, it's sort of part of your own family. It is indeed. It is indeed. I mean, I, I think this is, it's very special to me, this production. And I, I am, I'm moved every single time I see it, so. Now, we just came off a big anniversary. That's right, Anna Green Gables, the novel, mm -hmm. just celebrated 100 years in print, translated into more than 25 foreign languages. That's fantastic. Yeah. I was also in uh, Japan in December in 2008 for these anniversary celebrations, and I, had the opportunity to see Anna Green Gables the musical in Tokyo in the Japanese language. And again, I was sitting there with tears streaming down <laughs> my face because I was sitting on the other side of the world, you know, thinking, wow, what an impact that this story truly. has made. Now, what do you think it is about the story, which, let's face it, is truly a true down-home Canadian story, yet it affects people all over the world. What is it about the story? Well, think? it crosses all boundaries of age and gender. I mean, I'm hearing more and more from men who read the story and say, oh my God, what a wonderful story that is. I love that character. She's so feisty. She's so, you know, mm -hmm. um, so, it, and it crosses boundaries of nationality. Yeah. It's just, you know, there's very little that kind of contains it. And there's, it's funny how though many things have changed in the world, things haven't changed really. When it comes to interpersonal relationship, people haven't changed that much. That's right. That's right. It does. It just seems to be able to uh, live on and on and on. I'm working on the next hundred years. That's fantastic. <laughs> now yeah. you are a part of the licensing group for I am. Anna I am. I, and I oversee this property on behalf of my family. And, that's so, and it is a full-time job. What a great legacy though. And yes. to know that the, this is a part of your life and, it, and you're sharing it that's right. with the world. That's right. That's it is. It's very yeah. exciting. And we're very proud of our grandmother's achievements. Mm -hmm. you uh, not be. only Anne, she wrote 22 other novels and hundreds of short stories and poetry. So, and her journals, of course, have also right. been published. So we invite everyone to search those other uh, pieces of literature out because while you may be familiar with the Anne books, there's so much more. There's so much more and it's so rich and she, she is truly a remarkable person. I mean, I'm so inspired by her because, you know, while she wrote, she had two lively sons. She was a photographer. She had a garden. She sewed. She cooked. She did, like, you know, she makes me tired. She was a modern woman. Yeah, she really was in a... In a in an earlier time. Much like her characters that That's right. really, they stand the test of time. She was living ahead of her time, I'd That's say. Right. She's very much the modern woman. Definitely. Yeah. Well, it's the pleasure meeting you today. Oh, it's been nice to meet you and too, and I'm so happy to be here tonight. Me too, I'm looking forward to the yeah. show. <laughs> Love more in real life coming up.